Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, September 29th. Okay, so the moon in Leo went void, of course, 11.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here last evening on Saturday, the 28th. And we are locking into Virgo energy at 5.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here this morning. And any time that we're shifting out of that Leo energy into Virgo energy, it is always felt because we're moving from a fire energy to an earth sign. And even more than that, an earth sign that is ruled over by Mercury, ruler of the mental plane. This is going to be a little bit of a flashback, I would say, to what it is that transpired in Virgo season, which of course is going to put us in the mental plane, going to put us in over-processing, over-thinking, over-analyzing mode, which of course could be a good thing if we're open-minded enough to realize where it is that we're holding on to the old because it's comfortable, it's familiar, and realizing that technically speaking, we need to let it go because it's no longer serving us, it's actually keeping us blocked, it's actually keeping us trapped. If you'll think back to Virgo season, the whole point was to identify the problem in order for us to fix it, to heal it, to repair it. And of course, we're in Libra season, we're in eclipse season as well, where the scales are definitely not balanced, especially after that full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces that we have that popped off soul contracts, karmic chapters, a releasing point, an ending point, a completion point of a lot of the situations, circumstances and energy exchanges that we've been involved in for a very long time. Of course, we're not seeing things clearly at this particular juncture, again, being eclipsed from the greater, grander truth, the information, the details that we're currently lacking. Again, we have to get through this next eclipse energy before we're going to start making sense of things. And so the moon in this Virgo energy, we are going to want to put things into perspective. We're going to want to take the craziness, the chaos, and put it into some kind of order. We want to get organized, mind, body, and soul. And again, a very good exercise when the moon is in Virgo energy is to get your shit together in your physical realm. Clean your space up, put things in order, get things cleaned. It's definitely a great time to really focus on getting organized. With all of that being said, there are 13 different aspects popping off here today, a relatively busy day in the cosmos. 11 of those aspects are going to involve the moon. The moon, still in this Leo energy, but void, of course, going to make a very harsh interaction with Neptune, who, of course, is retrograde in Pisces energy. This is putting us in a little bit of a funk, a little bit of a tizzy, because, of course, what we aspire to, what we are excited and motivated to actually jump into, to initiate, is put on hold. Why? Well, because we have to deal with life as it is not for the way that we wished it would be. And many of us do not want to deal with that kind of reality. We are recognizing where it is that we have loose ends that we need to tie up. We have to bring a certain ending, completion point, finality to certain chapters before we can go ahead and start jumping into something new. This is going to detach us, disconnect us from our higher self, from our intuition. We are kind of confused at this particular juncture because, again, we're more in the ego self, the mental plane, the emotional body, than we are in the higher self and, of course, the spiritual body. And so, again, we're kind of losing the vision. We're losing that inspiration. We're losing the motivation of this new goal, vision, and dream because we're put on pause. We're being sidelined, if you will. We have to sit on the bench. And of course, that is very frustrating to us at this particular juncture, which means that we're just not seeing the forest past the trees. The sun in Libra energy going to directly oppose sit across from the north node in Aries energy, which means that the sun is also sitting on top of the south node in Libra energy. Now, it's very interesting that we're having this particular interaction as we're gaining momentum to that new moon solar eclipse taking place in Libra energy, which is a south node activation. Again, south node in Libra, we've already perfected people pleasing. We've already perfected codependent relationships. We've already perfected putting our own wants, needs, and desires on the back burner in order to make other people happy. The North Node in Aries is trying to get us to move on, to kind of build the relationship with thyself, to put wants, needs, and desires at the top of the list while still honoring the commitments that we've made to other people. The pull 
with this south node in Libra is to fall back upon some of the things that we just fought very hard to get away from. This particular energy is truly illuminating where it is the scales are becoming even more unbalanced, recognizing where it is that we're holding fears, doubts, insecurities of busting away from certain relationship dynamics, standing on our own two feet, doing things alone, being a little bit more independent, putting our own goals, visions, dreams back at the top of the list. This is definitely going to illuminate where it is that we feel stuck, where it is that we feel our back against a wall, where it is that we're very aware of the old world ending and the new world not quite yet beginning, and this awkward adjustment period of trying to make sense of things, mind, body, or soul. Again, remember, we're in eclipse season. If you're confused, you're supposed to be. If you're absolutely bewildered with some of the situations that have popped off, congratulations, you are aligned with the energies. It will make a little bit more sense the more time we actually spend moving away from this eclipse energy. But again, we haven't really had a full, complete eclipse closure yet. That is coming with the new moon solar eclipse in Libra energy. The moon in Leo energy, still in this void, of course, is semi-squaring Mars. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger. He is in cancer energy. He does not enjoy being here because he can't take straightforward action. Instead, he's in preservation mode. He is willing to fight, defend, protect what it is that he's already built, what it is that he's already created, whatever it is that means the most to him. But as far as actually initiating a new path, a new direction, we're not really in the vibe to be supported in doing that. Emotionally speaking, this is going to trigger a lot of fear, doubt, insecurity. Even more than that, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger even. Because, again, the moon in this Leo energy, very passionate, very bold, brave, and courageous. We want to move forward. We want to take action. We want to come out to play. Mars, though, very stunted in his ability to take action and make moves on anything new. And I will repeat myself, we are in a completion series. The only thing new that we are doing is taking action on getting rid of the old. The moon in Leo energy then going to make a very harsh interaction with Pluto, the great transformer who was retrograde in Capricorn energy. This is going to be the last aspect that this moon will be making before we shift into Virgo energy. And of course, having the moon and Pluto come together, there's going to be some emotions that rise to the surface, some not so nice thoughts that rise to the surface that are pretty dark pretty consuming with fears, doubts, and insecurities. Of course, Mr. Pluto, he likes to empower us by reminding us of where it is that we're coming from, the tough love life lessons that we've already learned. And because Mr. Pluto retrograde in this Capricorn energy is giving us a final hurrah to realize where it is that the power struggles in our physical realms are still alive and well, this is an opportunity to put into perspective what we have to continue to destroy, what we have to continue to deconstruct once Pluto goes direct, which will be happening in the first couple of weeks of October. 5.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon shifts into Virgo energy. At 7 a.m., we have the moon in Virgo energy making a very positive interaction with that north node in Aries energy. So we're definitely trying to think about how we're going to move on, how we're going to move forward. But again, we are all consumed with the different thoughts, different ideas. We're weighing things back and forth. We're trying to find a sweet spot. We are in Libra season. This is basically putting us in a situation to think about the options, the opportunities that we have to grow, that we have to heal, that we have to make improvements in our lives. Again, a little bit of a kickback to Virgo season, understanding the problematic areas where it is that we can make improvements and adjustments. And again, because we are in eclipse season and we don't have the power and control over our physical realms as we would hope to have at this particular juncture, we are all stuck in our inner realms, trying to sort out our thoughts, our feelings and trying to weigh the pros and cons of the different variables, the different options that we currently have available to us. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who of course is in Gemini energy. Mercury rules over both Virgo energy and Gemini energy. So again, huge indicator that we're all up in the headspace. Now, Jupiter 
He's being aspected in a positive way. So he's going to bring a certain level of optimism. He's going to bring a certain level of confidence. We're starting to see the big picture. We're also starting to see the smaller details that are needed to be put together in order for that big picture to be revealed. We are kind of kicking back to some tough love life lessons. We've already gone through it. We've already learned the hard way, but many of us failing to integrate what it is that we've already learned. So emotionally speaking, we're starting to see the options, the opportunities to actually move on, move forward, to heal, fix, repair certain situations. But at the same time, no actions are actually available to us. We're stuck in our inner realm contemplating. And again, although this is a positive aspect, we could do too much of that as Jupiter magnifies whatever it is that we're currently thinking, what we're currently focused on, what we're currently consumed with. The moon in Virgo energy then going to make a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer who is retrograde in Capricorn energy. We love Virgo and Pluto working together. Pluto does a deep dive in our psyche, unearthing the programming, the conditioning of our childhoods. Again, where the egoic programming and conditioning, keeping us stuck in old habits, old patterns, old behaviors. The Virgo energy focuses its time, energy, space on the mental plane where our ego relies on bringing information in from the outside world, forming thoughts, opinions, ideas about it, and actually being able to flip the script when information and details prove that it would be better if we made an improvement to our perspective. It would be better for us if we were able to see the other side of the coin. And of course, being in Libra season, that's what it's all about. Seeing things from all angles, being well informed before we make any kind of major decisions, major pivot points. This is an empowerment energy. We are going to start to see a major change, a major pivot point in our focus, in our attention, in our inner dialogue, in our narrative, in what it is that we need to kind of move away from as far as limiting beliefs are concerned, and what it is that we have to kind of create more of as far as positive and encouraging narratives are concerned as well. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, who of course is now in Libra energy. The moon is our heart space, Mercury is our head space, and they're trying to work together, they're trying to get along, they're trying to get on the same page. Again, emotionally speaking, in Virgo energy, we're trying to identify the problem in order to fix it. And Mercury being in Libra energy, trying to see this issue, this problem from all angles in order for us to bring it back into balance. Now, where communication is concerned, because, of course, Mercury rules over that as well, we could be a little bit too, I'm going to say, easy to gloss over the actual truth of things. Again, we're biting our tongue. We are kind of in a situation where we want to say some things, but we're not necessarily ready to follow through on said things. And so we're going to a very extreme effort to try and mask how we truly think and how we truly feel. The moon in Virgo then going to make an awkward interaction, a very harsh one if I do say so myself, with that north node in Aries energy. Suddenly, we are not wanting to think about how to move forward, how we could fix, heal, and resolve things because there's some situations in our present moment that are consuming our mental plane energy. We need to realize where it is that we have to pull ourselves out of projecting ourselves too far into the future, where it is that we have to be more present with ourselves in this here and now moment to see what we actually have power and control of to fix, to flip, to heal, to repair right now. Instead of thinking about futuristic plans and futuristic situations, we have a lot going on right now that really is demanding our time, our energy, our attention. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, who is retrograde in Aries energy. This is when we start kind of picking ourselves apart, I would say, Again, the Virgo energy, highly judgmental, super critical, especially of oneself. We in this Chiron energy are taking a good look at our wounds because, again, this is not a positive aspect. So we start picking ourselves apart. We start beating ourselves up. We start kind of, you know, really starting to see where it is that we're falling apart at the seams, whether it be old emotions blocking us, whether it be old mental plane, old narratives blocking us. We are fixated on a particular issue, problem, topic, and theme that is really doing a number on our self-esteem, on our self-worth. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this Libra energy, 
directly opposing, sitting across from the North Node in Aries energy, which means that Mercury is sitting on top of that South Node in Libra energy. The memories, the thoughts, the ideas, the inner dialogue, the narrative, everything is looking back. We should be looking forward and we should feel empowered to do so. But that South Node in Libra, again, is bringing up relationship dynamics, bringing up issues of the past that we are just consumed with. So instead of thinking about the future, instead of thinking about where it is that we have the ability to grow, to heal, to fix, to repair our relationship dynamics, instead we're thinking about all that went wrong, all that we have no power and control over, all the things that we really didn't want to deal with, that we didn't want to focus on, are becoming all-consuming in our mental plane, in our mind space. The moon in Virgo energy, then going to make a positive interaction with the sun in Libra energy. So anytime that the moon and the sun are coming together, there's going to be an aha moment, an emotional awareness of what it is that we want, we need, we desire. The moon in Virgo energy, very logical, very practical in its ability to kind of see where it is that we have the power and control to kind of fix the smaller things in our physical realm. The sun shining a very bright light in this Libra energy is trying to illuminate where certain areas of our lives are out of balance and out of whack. Again, we experience the extremes in Libra season in order for us to bring that extreme into a sweet spot. Right now, we are starting to realize what needs our time, energy, and attention the most. And emotionally speaking, we just want to be a little bit more organized in our thoughts, in our feelings, in our approach to bringing some of these areas back into balance. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Virgo energy, sextiling, beautiful interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in Scorpio energy, doing some shadow work, really unpacking her heart space, unpacking the limiting, let's call it emotional baggage of the past, and really trying to figure out what is worthy of our time, energy, and attention, and love what needs to change in our heart space and our head space and in our physical realm, especially where relationships are concerned. The moon sextiling with Venus is going to illuminate where it is that emotionally speaking, we're starting to make a little bit of headway in identifying the problematic areas, the emotional baggage that we've been carrying, what we have to release, what we have to close the door on in order for us to have a clean space to start building something new in the place of the things that, of course, are no longer serving us. This has everything to do with our happiness, our joy, our pleasure, our safety, our security, our stability. And in our physical realms, whether or not we are doing what we can do in order to create more of those things, or whether or not we're just sitting around identifying where it is that we're lacking these things and getting pretty down, pretty hard on ourselves about it. Either way, when we realize what perspective we're actually in, that gives us a lot more information and details, a lot more power, if you will, to examine where it is that we could make some changes, where it is that we can do better, make some improvements, and actually relieve ourselves from a lot of this emotional heaviness, emotional weight.